Hey everybody, welcome back to the Intentional Carnivore. I'm glad you guys could join us. If it's your first time, welcome. If you would, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified whenever we're going to be with you each each time we go live. Today we have a special guest. Um, he is an extraordinary man. He an actor, a producer, a chef, a, an author, um, but my favorite thing about Mr. Charles Maddox is his heart to help others and to see his impact and see a change in the world around him. Thank you, sir, for being with me and coming and talking today. And I'm, I'm honored to have you here. <laughs> yes, man. Yes, yes. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure, you know. Absolutely, man. I love fellowshipping with good people. And uh, I've been trying to hook up with you for a long time, you know, since before season three of uh, of Reverse. But we just I couldn't get with you. And one thing led to the other. But for those of uh, that may be here or see this video in the future that aren't uh, familiar with who you are, would you speak uh, just speak for a moment about who you are? And, and if you don't mind, definitely. Um, well, you know, right now. You probably, you know, have seen some of our work from our TV series Reversed, um, which uses carnivore as a way to basically uh, uh, improve health outcomes. And um, this is our third season of Reversed. Um, our first was done in Jamaica um, a few years ago when I really didn't know a whole lot about uh, uh, how to per se reverse diabetes. Um, but I knew that, you know, if I put together a good team and, um, uh, what had worked for me as far as reversing my diabetes, um, uh, as far as low carb, I guess at, at that time when I was diagnosed, I kind of went on a keto diet by myself. I had no idea of what I was doing. Um, but I knew it worked. So we, we, uh, had a great first season of that shot in Jamaica, changed some lives and then was introduced to keto um fully and did a season two of keto with you know some amazing names uh, dr ken berry maria emmerich um uh man i can't even remember <laughs> uh but but some great names in there and then looked to improve on on what we learned from keto and looked at the carnivore space uh as as an even stronger option um and put together a, a, an all-star cast of, you know, Dr. Ovedia, Maria Emmerich, uh, uh, Dr. Tony Hampton, uh, uh, Kelly Hogan, uh, 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 Dr. Ken Berry, uh, Anthony Chafee, Dr. Kiltz, um, uh, Salt and Pepper, um, uh, 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 Salt and Butter Babe, I mean, uh, um, and and just an all-star list of some great people. That is amazing, man. And that, that's a list. That is a list. Yeah. Yeah, it that, is. It, it, it's a, it was a blessing, you know. Those people have, have done amazing. And, and, you know, and you as well, because a lot of people may not know, but Reversed isn't the first thing that you've done. You know, you've, you've got trial by fire. You've got our bodies, the temple, you've got eight day life. You've got sugar coated yeah. crisis. You've got all these things and it's so much bigger. And even reversed in and of itself is so much bigger than just carnivore. You know, it's about a better life, a better quality of life. What, what in your mind, like do you approach each project uh, with with something in like in mind, or is it just are you just trying to cover it all? Like, can you speak? You know, to you know my uncle, who um, I'm proud that his uh, was Bob Marley. His movie's coming out in uh, in the 2024. Just uh, the trailer went up for it today, so definitely go check that out, everyone. Um, for the Marley movie, but he once said that if this life is just for me, I mean, I want it. So basically, if this life is just for him. He didn't want it. And I kind of feel the same way um, as I, I was probably raised in a, 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 you know, in a Christian household, per se, and just believing that, you know, we were here for a purpose and to help impact other people's lives. So I think, you know, when I was diagnosed with type two diabetes is really when I kind of was like had a, uh, an awakening and, and wanted to um not only tell my story, but tell other people's stories. 
um, just because the way I was diagnosed, how fastly they, how quickly they wanted to put me on, on uh, medication, um, the lack of information, even on diagnosis, um, you know, just, just the no information out there, um, the no support out there. Those things made me say, you know, look at the bigger picture and realize that this was a business. You know, this wasn't just, you know, most of us don't ever think, yeah, you know, we go to McDonald's and, and they make this, this, this burger in a, in a lab so that it tastes perfect and amazing and, and add the certain things inside of it to make sure that you come back uh, uh, for it and these potato chips and things like that. So just looking at it as a business and, and as far as the business of health and, and what they really put first and realizing it wasn't, putting patients first, you know, and uh, so wanted to create these shows to really be a support for those who are dealing with conditions, whether it's diabetes, cancer, you know, obesity, uh, food addiction, whatever it may be, that they would have something that they can see someone like themselves. Because there's, you know, nothing better than sitting in your own living room watching someone potentially go through uh, what you're going through or, and come out on the other end on a positive note, you know? Absolutely. And, and I'm so thankful that people are doing that, man, because that's how I found out about it. I had no idea that carnivore was even a thing until I came across, I was listening to Joe Rogan one day, him and somebody, uh, Rhonda Patrick, and they were discussing carnivore and it wasn't all great, but it got me to thinking. Yeah. And I, Stumbled across this crazy doctor, Ken, uh -huh. and it changed my life. April the 17th last year is when I started, and I've lost 245 pounds. I've reversed type 2 diabetes, reversed non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Wow. Like so many things have happened. Wow. But that mental health, is, yeah. you know, because and, and, the, and to everybody always asks the intentional carnivore. I want to go back to what you said, you know, yeah. raised in a Christian home. Yeah. Um, that's where intentional comes from for me because my faith is like critical for me. Mm. And, you know, I, I'm a believer as well. And I trust mm. in, in Christ and I feel like we are to be examples yeah. of that, not force it on people, just show yeah. people. If you show it to them in a way that we're supposed to, they'll want it. Same thing with the diet, same thing yeah. with the way of life. You mm. can show people there's another way, you know, mm. and when they see that, they're going to want it. You know, it's so, it's so amazing. Um, mm. You know, and, and, and the world needs that. They need that message. You yeah. know, I, I, uh, I hadn't heard, I was watching a, a, an interview that they did with you um, uh, on YouTube a while back. And you, it was talking about the, the movie, our body is the temple. And you were talking about Jamal Bryant and working with those, with those guys. And yeah. I, I used to listen to him preach. Yeah. You know? online yeah. and, and stuff. So these are people that I've known about, yeah. um, but I'm so thankful that it, it coincides because part of that is all linked together. And for those people who have been blessed, I feel like it is our responsibility to bless others by in some way, giving it of ourselves. So mm -hmm. thank you for what you do, man, because you're mm -hmm. adding to that and you're going to leave a legacy, you know, much like, like your uncle, man, you know, so uh, I, I knew about that, but I wanted you to mention that, you know, because that's, <laughs> that's something special, you know. Um, and I normally don't mention it, but because, you know, I, I saw the trailer uh, today it premiered a few times. Um, I was like, man, you know what? This is, uh, you know, um, I, I had to give props to that because that's who kind of ins who inspired me to want to do something great, you know, was was seeing him. And realizing you're right that you know we have a short period of time on this on this earth, and we we want to make sure we leave something for someone else, you know. And um, that's that's really my my addiction, if you want to call it that. Yeah, to leave that legacy. That is, it's good. And, I, and there's no doubt that you will. I mean, you've already got so many things, and you're doing stuff that's never been done. That's amazing. So knowing that, that, you know, you've created these things that have never been done before, if you could go back to day one, what would you tell yourself or what advice would you give yourself um, if you could go back to day one? Well, as far as putting the projects together, I would say that, you know, never, never surround yourself around anyone that um, 
doesn't encourage you to live your dream. Because if if I would have known, you know, that this was as hard as it is, um, I probably wouldn't have done it. You know, so mm-hmm. I, I it's like if if you think I can't climb climb Mount Everest and and who knows, maybe I can't, but don't tell me four people passed away on the way up there because <laughs> you know, um, let me let me do me because I don't know it can't be done. And sometimes when you don't know it can't be done is it is when you go out and actually do it because you don't there's no blueprint of failure for you. You just go out there and do it. Um, as far as the health journey, I would say that um, man, I wish you know the, I wish they taught this stuff or some of this in school, um, in high school. Um, it would it would have changed my world if we would have known certain things back then that were just obvious um, as far as the standard American diet. Um, but uh, and then even you know older, none of this information was out there, and it's a, it's a shame that um, it, it wasn't out there as much as it was. I'm sure it was out there, but it wasn't as it is today, and it's still. A fight getting this information out there but um you know taking back our health is is so key and you know this this body we have is very fragile and um while strong um but you know uh, we want to live the best and most healthiest life we can live you know some of us i know i have kids um i have loved ones that i want to see grow up and 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 prosper and lord knows i don't want to uh, you know, pass away early because of what I put in my mouth, mm-hmm. uh, and and some of the, the the health actions that I didn't take. So I would say that, <clears throat> man, I wish I I wish I was a little bit more educated and um, understood to 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 look into things a little bit more. I mean, you know, so yeah, so it's been a journey, and it's still a journey. It's still an, a, a battle, you know, as you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, and one one thing that, that gets me even now is, man, I wish I could, you know, if I could go back and I and I, I think about this all the time, you know, I would absolutely change the way that I start my kids out because my kids are 15 and 12 now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I could I could help set them up for success and maybe avoid some of those struggles that I struggled with, you know. So I'm glad the information is getting out there. Yeah, um, can you share maybe a moment with uh, the reverse series, maybe that, that changed your perspective or approach to how you were doing things? I, I think, um, you know, what I've learned, too, as well, and what I'm even still working on is 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 a food addiction, you know, mm-hmm. realizing that existed. And, um, you know, because before I, I never even thought about it until it was probably like a couple of years ago where I found myself, you know, eating stuff and brushing out in the middle of the night. And I, you know, I'm not like a full drug addict, but, you know, but like, you know, like going to get some stuff that I know I shouldn't have had any business doing and and saying, man, what is wrong with me? You know, why am I doing this? And and not being able to literally just stop. You're like fighting yourself. Should I go and get it? Yeah, let me just get it. Let's not do it. So. Um, I was, you know, so it was, it was really that and, and, and finding that, that discipline that <clears throat> we have, um, in life that we should have in life and, <clears throat> and really acting on that and utilizing that to the full. Cause that's really what this is about is it's about discipline. You know, I, as a guy I follow, who's, uh, uh, Brian Johnson, who's into longevity right now. Um, and, you know, it's a new thing. And basically, you know, it's the same thing as far as carnivore. It's, you know, preparing yourself as, you know, as far as longevity, eating a better way and, and living a better, healthier life. But, you know, his discipline is through the roof. I mean, you know, how he sleeps. He, he doesn't compromise his eight, nine hours sleep in a day. He slay, sleeps in a, in, a, in a blacked out room. Um, he, you know, what he eats, he does. I think his last meal is at 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and, um, you know, he's changed his health and, 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 you know, marks everything as far as blood and supplements and things that he does or whatever. So, but the point is, is that that discipline is, is when we have that discipline in life, it, it really can 
you know, do wonders in all all forms of our our, our life, whether it's mental, physical, spiritual, emotional. I mean, it it uh, so really focusing on that discipline, and um, so I learned a lot from that. Seeing some of the people that were on the show make such tremendous strides. You know, they came and they said, "Man, we're gonna lose this weight. We're gonna, you know, get off medication. We're gonna uh, uh, change." And then, man, they did it. They went back home and. Couple months later, we do a follow up show, and 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 man, it lost 60, 70, 80 pounds. They've come off of diabetes medication, and you're like, this is discipline at 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 its best, and it and it works once once you put it in there. And obviously, it's worked with you, so you know, you know, absolutely, absolutely, and and, and, and you know, and it's amazing to hear the things, you know, because I mean. I was I was there when that when the season three premiered in the in the chat with with Dr. Barry and Kelly and all those um, who who were on the show. And, you know, you look forward to those things and seeing those things. And it's so hard because there's so much that you probably I would imagine I, I'm like, how in the world do you narrow down what you put in something like that? Because there's so many good things and it's in it. It's like concentric circles that keeps going out and out. And reaching people and reaching others, you know. Um, I kind of thought of it as when we put together the series, it was if somebody was new to carnivore, mm -hmm. what would you put from A to Z? Um, but not just new to carnivore, but new to health overall, right? Or new to um, keto or new to any of this information. What would you put? And, you know, because um, you'd want to know, number one, what is carnivore? Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, let's say your, your first thing is, oh, that's terrible. That's going to be bad for cholesterol. So we we would put in a, 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 a segment on cholesterol, you know, pr making it, of course, entertaining as, as and educational as we could. Um, so you kind of want to put those things in there. You know, the only thing with this is we had such short time to do this. You know, a series like this takes, you know, at least two months to put together or shoot when we only had four days, you know, so, so you know, um, we didn't get a chance to, to really flush out things or really do it the way we wanted to do it. But we knew that, you know, hey, if we put this first one out, it may make the, the second season a lot easier to put together. Right. So it was more on let's let's create the, the energy and then and see where we go from here. You know, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So what, like, what can you tell us, or if anybody has any questions for me or for Charles, you could put them in the comments. Just put a cue by it so that we can see it, and I'd be glad to get some of you you all's questions if you if you have one. If not, we'll continue having fun and 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 enjoy it. Um, but I do want to ask, like, what what do you where do you see this? Where do you want to see this space and this idea? Because there's no, I know it's not over, you know. Uh, like, where do you see it in the next five years for you? Well, you know, we are working on some really great projects. Um, I'm working on one right now called Reverse the Church. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, we are going to go into a church, a mega church probably, mm -hmm. and we are going to reverse the health of the whole congregation <laughs> using low carb and, and you know, meat-based um, so, and, you know, especially in the black church, you know, we're suffering with a lot of, you know, uh, issues from diabetes to you know, blood pressure, um, you know, things of that nature, cardiovascular issues. So taking a church where you can kind of, um, uh, yeah, I am carnivore, but yeah, taking it, taking a church where um, we can take these people out of this, 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 um, this moment and, you know, check their, 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 their vitals and everything and do all the labs. And then over a certain amount of time, see how they improved by low carb carnivore and so on and so forth. So reversing the health of a whole congregation and then, you know, doing it where you start to, you know, do more, more, more shows around the country where you're able to go in there and tell those amazing stories and, you know, maybe do two churches at the same time on, on a series so you can kind of see how. Uh, but, you know, we'll probably start with a more, uh, um, 
uh, African American per se based church, mixed church, and then broaden it as 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 we go along, just to to show the the examples, and then also a longevity series, um, and then would love to do another series um, with uh, the meat base, maybe uh, something where it's a carnivore versus plant based type thing, where they get in there and 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 hash it out, you know, and. <laughs> Uh, um <laughs> that's good. that's good yeah, yeah. it's it's interesting man stuff that people want to see and i think that's great man and it, it's that's ironic because i started whenever i before i even started the youtube thing i started writing a curriculum to be able to teach this in the church and and i haven't finished that but i thought it you know i called it the doctrine of health you yeah. know to go along with the doctrines in the church you know so to speak and and uh that was just stemmed from another uh, a pastor friend of mine who said, hey, you know, I want to see our church do this, you know, because yeah. our body is the temple is, you know, and, you know, we have to represent that which we call ourselves by. So I thought that's critically important. And I think that's an amazing thing. And I'm I'm excited to see what happens and how, how that goes for you, my friend. Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, only good things, only good things. Yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, let's see here. I'll just jump in with the first one. Uh, Charles, have you heard or spoken to Kerry at Homestead How? I was actually going to mention that, but he's trying to get a documentary uh, made uh, following people for a year on the carnivore changing their lives. No, you know, I, I have never. And I would love to uh, to talk to him. Maybe we can we can team up together. I think that, you know. In, in what we're trying to do, we have to team up, you know, because there's a, and that's one of the things that I really loved about this series, because um, in any condition state, whether it, whatever it is, you know, you might have some doctors that kind of excel in, in, in their area, but it's, it's rare that they kind of work together, you know, like the dream, I like to call them the dream team of health. You know, you have basketball teams that come together and have dream teams. You have football teams that play in the all-star games. You know, I have basketball teams that come together. So, but it's it's rare to have, you know, a bunch of doctors and experts all in the same place talking on the same the same language. So, you know, I, I, I believe that we should work together um, because that's what this this message needs. Mm -hmm. Um or else it, it will it will fall in the, in the weeds, and we will be constantly speaking just to each other. You know, we want to, and that's another thing. What I wanted to do with the series too, as well, was bring in new um, people who wanted to look at the meat based lifestyle because um, you don't want to just once again keep talking to each other. You want this message to get out there the best that it could. And I've gotten so many, or we've gotten so many messages where people are like, man, I saw the series and we are going carnivore today and so on and so forth. But then also realize with the series that, cause I'm sure when you first heard of it, I was like, these people are crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bacon and eggs, you know, I'm like, it high, these people get high cholesterol, <laughs> you know? And, uh, and uh, so, you know, it, it, we needed to create something that, you know, tried to talk to not only the uneducated, but the educated as well, you know? And, uh, so I think we, 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 we at least kicked the ball down the field. Absolutely. Well, I actually have Carrie's information. I talked with him earlier. Me and him have been talking about this movie. He wanted me to be in the movie. He approached me with that. Okay. Um, my story. And so I have his information. I was definitely going to get with you after the show about that. So we'll, we'll work something out and put you guys together talking. Cause I don't know anything. I barely know much about YouTube, you know, I'm figuring that out. So, um, but I, I'm happy to be involved with the project because I'm so passionate about it. Um, and yeah. you know, and as far as working together tomorrow night is this, this, the live show that I do every week. Usually okay. you know, on uh, Saturdays, and we moved it to Fridays. And the, my whole premise behind whenever I come up with that idea uh, was to bring other people in. Anthony Chafee's actually been on. This will be his third week in a row being on with us. Nice. Uh, my buddy, uh, No Carb Life, Dave Max on there, Carnivore Kip, uh, Kip Moore's on there, and Larry Berkless from Carnivore Quest is going to be on there. And <laughs> as far as, like, the YouTube channel, it's not beneficiary because we stream it to all the channels. Yeah. Yeah. However, 
as far as building the community and showing strength because we're stronger together and we were showing for people all over the world we're showing people it doesn't matter you know everybody has these issues that they have to face it doesn't matter whether you're from australia jamaica united states yeah. it doesn't matter we're all we're all in this together and the the quicker we see that and stand yeah. together with each other the better off we'll be able to be. We have to be one voice. And I feel like that's a critical message for everybody too. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, um, for, for both of you, do you think the carnivore message on YouTube specifically is flooded or is there room for more? My husband wants to start one since we've lost combined 83 pounds. I've lost 52 in four months. I, I would say definitely. You know, I think that, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of good voices out here and it's really how you position that voice. Um, <clears throat> I would say you may want to come up with something very original. Um, you know, um, I've never seen and just as a producer giving some ideas, I've never seen any like real home um, uh, YouTube documentary type of cool reality style pieces where it's like a day-to-day -day life in a carnivore and a family, you know, that might be a, a cool way to spin it. Um, where you kind of show you and the family and, and, the, and the kids and, you know, the, uh, a day out and in the park and, um, you know, a church and, and just cooking at home and having fun in the pool and, and just what you guys eat. Um, could be a cool, uh, just a thought, you know, so, yeah. That's good stuff, good stuff. And I, I personally, I think there's room for success for everybody to share their story. Nobody yeah. can tell your story like you can, and only you can tell it. And yeah. so I feel like they're important, and I feel like that's how we're going to change the world. It's not going to be a doctor from a lab somewhere or a scientist or a government or whatever. If yeah. we impact and change the world, it's going to be from everyday people like me, because that's that's me. We're that's like you. We're everyday people, just like everybody else. But we stand up and we say something. And it, the more people that do that, the better chance we have to do to reach other people that you might reach somebody that I can't reach. Yeah. And maybe somebody in here today that can reach somebody that neither one of us can reach. And yeah. it takes us all working together. So I feel like there's plenty of room. For, for for people to do this you know i would love to be out of business and be talking to the choir and, and us not have to worry about it type 2 diabetes is gone forever cancer uh, is gone forever um yeah. but until that happens i'm not gonna shut up you know i'm not gonna stop i'm not i'm gonna keep on being a thorn in the side of the diabetes. <laughs> you know what i mean um <laughs> How about uh, the opposition? I, you know, I don't like to focus on the negative, but I know you had to have faced that. I heard a little bit in your interviews trying to get the funding and stuff for that. Um, how, what kind of insights can you give us as far as how you manage funding and distribution aspects of making these things actually come to fruition? Yeah, I told you, brother. I, I, I sometimes you. I look in the mirror and I'm like, man, I wish I looked like this or that because maybe mm -hmm. I'd be able to <laughs> have one of those streaks where things just come to me, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, uh, but I don't. And uh, so it's it's never easy, especially when you're talking about health. I mean, mm -hmm. when you, and especially if you're talking about reversing health, you know, uh -huh. do you, wh whose door do you show up on and say, you know, we need a check to show <laughs> Um, you know, definitely not a pharmaceutical or, or uh, you know, certain places. And uh, so it, it, it's very few and far between. You would think that it would be a whole lot easier, but it, it's not. You have to literally fight at, at every step. And, and especially in the keto and the carnivore um, area, um, it's, it is a, there might be a, a lot of companies per se, but a lot of companies aren't making that type of money. And, and I don't mean it has to be a lot of money, but, you know, they're just mom and pops and just trying to get by and so on and so forth, you know. And and TV shows are TV shows. They may cost anywhere from uh, $100,000 to put together to, to $50 million, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, you, you do need some funding. So it's not easy to find those uh, as easy as you think. And... Um, but we, we, we keep pushing. And, and uh, once again, 
hopefully with this series, it, it can it can we can find some other partners that saw the success in it and and get it out there. Um, yeah, but it's and I and you know there's always negative in something. You know, I mean, it's, we live in a time and day and an age and a world where you know you have people who can uh, are just not the nicest people, mm-hmm. and, and they get online and they can share their their the nastiness, but you always look at the positives because the positives fully outweigh the negatives. You know, I mean, you, you might have a thousand positives and that one negative is the only thing that you focus on. <laughs> you know, that one person or that one statement is, you, you know, and like, man, you, did you forget about all the amazing positive comments that you got? You know, don't worry about that negative. It's going to happen. It happens to people every day. Absolutely. I agree. And you, and, the, and what I found is the loudest ones with the negativity are the ones that usually aren't doing anything anyway. So mm. it's all, we, we, I try to stay focused, you know, you know, it gets me because I want to reach everybody at the same time. You know, there's going to you. some people can't you just can't please. And those who get it can testify, you know, to the to the greatness of it. So, yeah, thank you for fighting for it, man, because um, it needed to be said and it still needs to be said. So. Um, I, will, I will answer carnivore, Italian gone carnivore. Is oh, right. yeah. There we go. That's exactly <laughs> I love Italian gone carnivore. She said, a- <laughs> if money was no option, uh, honestly, it would, it would, we could do so much. You know, there, there are so many series that I, I would love to do, you know, that, um, like I said, reverse the church is, um, it's an interesting story with that. I actually brought on um, Dr. Martin Luther King's daughter Bernice King and also Kelly Price, uh, a famed R&B singer, but also a preacher uh, and, a, and a gospel singer. And um, just, you know, they didn't work. I mean, Kelly was good and Bernice just didn't work as, as, as I thought she was was going to be as ambitious as she was, but she just, it was, you know, she, it hard to hard to reach her at times, didn't work hard. So um, you know, you want to do that the right way because once again, there's a lot of people you can touch through through the faith based community, and I mean, millions, millions. Um, and the thing with this is that you could actually see lives really being changed and saved. You know, you can see someone go from one one you know point to another and be like, wow, you know, you 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 played a part in helping this person you know, change their health outcomes, which potentially had them you know, being able to spend more time with their family because of, you know, uh, th- this change. Then, of course, you know, some other series, we I'd like to do one, um, uh, Reverse the Church, and um, one on cardiovascular to understand heart disease. So, yeah, I, I would just do more, you know. I, I, wish, I wish we... Uh, had some big TLC uh, or discovery deal where we can just produce these great shows that can change lives. But, mm. you know, um, we got to just keep doing what we do. Oh, absolutely. Stay yeah. focused and keep pushing forward. I, that's one of the things I have a video from last year, right after I started where I'm still a, right around 400 pounds. And I, it was the first day that I went walking last summer. After not after three years of being depressed, not leaving leaving the couch, not being you know just being in this captivating depression, I couldn't work, I couldn't be a husband, I couldn't be a dad, I couldn't function, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't cut the grass, I couldn't take a shower without sitting on the side of the tub to yeah. wash myself at thirty at all, you know thirty nine years old, and mm-hmm. um you know so being in that condition and then finally started walking. And I filmed a video because it the, it was for a challenge in a carnivore group that I was yeah. you know part of, and I said keep pushing forward no matter what Mo- motivation follows action every time but keep pushing forward mm-hmm. and you know and those things for some reason you know I've just carried those with me and it makes even more sense now because my story is still being written as well mm-hmm. and you know, um. But nevertheless, that's one of the things that, and really, whenever I look at it, it comes, you know, some from the Bible, but also there's a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. who says, if you can't run, walk, if you can't walk, crawl, but whatever you do, you, you know, paraphrase yeah, your that's, own. That's right. That's right. And so Amen. no matter what it is, we got to, we got to continue that journey and continue that fight. 
I will yeah. take one more and then uh like to answer uh, Mal Mike's question. Yeah. Then, that's what at 805, yeah. So, yeah, I would say, uh, that's a good question. I would say that what I, um, I what I would like to do is, because once again, um, this was, you know, and I think any artist will go back and always look at th certain things, but when you take a, a, a series that should be shot for at least six weeks, and you could only pull it together in in four days. Um, there, there's, there's, and 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 if you don't have the budget that you want, you know everything from in you know, the right crew or you know how much you know the producers that you have. I mean, shows like this normally have four producers, right? They may have a, a director and assistant director. Um, you know, we we I was literally. We're, I wore about seven hats, you know, and everybody else wore. So it was a very, very small crew, very short time. And uh, so, but, you know, at times I go back and I, and I look at it and I, and I, and I say that, you know what, it, this is a really, really good series. It's well put together. It's one of those things that you have to sit down and really just watch. It's not something that just jumps at you, you know, automatically because it's really a day-to-day -day story of what happened over uh, 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 these days. It's not It's not sensationalism. You know, I look at my 600-pound life that looks like it was shot with a camcorder and, you know, it's not any extraordinary stories, but the show has been on for what? 12, 13, 14, 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, why? Because people like watching someone go from one thing to the next. So I look at that and I say, you know what? You know, it's, uh, I think we really told some good stories here. And, and uh, so there's always production. I, I, even Steven Spielberg looks back and says, man, I could have done that better. That scene was, mm -hmm. was a little choppy. So we will, we will get another season and we definitely will. Um, take it up even even more with some potentially other other people to help me produce it's, that's awesome that's good to hear and you know I, i'm sporting my dr barry shirt the new one huzzah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love dr barry actually he was one of the first people i had on the channel I, i've been in his private group uh, yeah right like, because I, and i'm so thankful for dr barry look you know it, it, i could have stumbled into anywhere but I stumbled into him. He's an honest man. I told him, you know, firsthand how much I appreciate him. And I made a commitment to him that the first uh, check money that I make off of my channel once getting monetized yeah. was, was going to be going to five people for a year long subscription to get into his private group yeah. to, to, to get that direct access to him and get that medical knowledge and be able to communicate with him. And that's giving back to them, giving back to him. And it's a win-win for me, you know. Um, I'm just so appreciative. I feel like, you know, there again, if you've been blessed, be blessed. And yep. so that's amazing. So at the end of it all, you know, uh, what what drives you at the end of the day? What drives Charles Maddox to keep going whenever you don't feel like filming reversed anymore, when you don't feel like getting out of bed, whenever you just had a bad day? What drives Charles Maddox? You know, I would say um, I, I don't want to be one or two Facebook or, or Twitter mentions away from being forgotten. And, uh, you know, you ever get on Facebook and all of a sudden you see a, a schoolmate or somebody, you know, pass and, you know, they'll get a couple of, you know, uh, mentions here and there and that in that thing. And, you know, maybe a year will go by and you'll see some some memory of that person. You're like, oh, yeah, man. I, yeah. Forgot all about Jimmy, you know, and and uh, <laughs> I don't want to be that. I want I want the, you know to leave something, so um, you know, like Christ, that uh, in a sense where we 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 leave something that can touch other people's lives uh, forever, and um, um, and make a change and and be a blessing um, to other people. So that's 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 why I keep fighting and. Uh, and, and there's also a system to fight, you know, that, that we can't let um, dominate and beat us because um, lives are at stake, you know, and uh, we need healthy warriors, you know. 
Absolutely. And there's no doubt in my mind that you, you're you definitely going to leave a legacy. You're definitely not done. And I know that the best is yet to come for both of us, my friend. And and I, I'm excited. I was excited to speak with you today because, you know, I, I'm really fanning out, you know, trying to not fanboy because, you know, <laughs> I'm a big fan, you know. And, <laughs> Uh, but I, I appreciate the work that you do. I appreciate what you've done. And I know that whatever's coming is going to be great as well. Um, just before we uh, before we go and sign off, just tell everybody where they can find more about you, how they can, you know, what to look for, where to go. And uh, and the show is yours for the next well, however long you want to speak. Yeah, about. definitely. I appreciate that. You know, I mean, you know, Future of Health Network is our, our uh, platform on YouTube. Uh, Future of Health Network. Um, it's on YouTube, and then you know we this the series is actually airing on um, Dr. Ken Berry's YouTube page. We wanted to put it on there to to get it out there. It's also should hopefully it should be airing now on Glue.tv, which is a platform sort of like a Netflix type of type of thing, and it's going to be going to to other platforms too as well. Um, and you know, just Bella and Ellie media.com is our website, Bella and Ellie, E L L E media.com. And, you know, I'm sure if you just Google Charles Maddox, I'll pop up and you can follow me on Instagram or, or, uh, Twitter or something like that. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's where we're at. So look out for some other shows that we're, we're putting together and, um, you know, we're going to do another season of, of that and, and uh, make it very creative and well-produced and and uh, keep going on some of these great television shows that are, that are all about health. Absolutely. And the Bella is uh, and Ella, Ellie is linked in the description. I will get with him and put some more of the links where you can find him uh, there as well. And thank you, sir, for being here today. I appreciate that. And, I you know, I'm excited and I'm, uh, I'm honored that you, you were here today. <laughs> And you as well, brother, you keep rocking. I mean, I'm seeing, I, I didn't even realize we had comments till I switched on the comment section. I'm like, okay, he's got a nice little crowd over here. He's got some, some good people over here. I, if I missed you, I'm, I'm sorry, but hello to his audience. And, and man, you keep doing your thing because once again, it, 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 it's you, it, you know, people like yourself who keep doing this on a daily basis, getting this word out there and pushing that, uh, that narrative. So we need you, uh, just as, uh, as much as anything. Thank you, sir. That, that means a lot. And, um, absolutely going to keep pushing forward no matter what, um, you guys check out the stuff, check out the music, check out the, the series, uh, links will be in the description. And until next time, I appreciate you guys being here. Share this video, this live with somebody uh, that you, you think can benefit from it. Um, I'm sure you know somebody in your life. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you tomorrow night on, on the live. Uh, we'll be back at 9 o'clock. appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Stay strong and keep pushing forward.